Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition Tarot. I am here to do the daily reading for today. Today is Wednesday. It is a Wednesday, June the 26th. I freaking love you guys. I love you. Mwah. Sending lots of love your way. XOXO. Um, I'm actually sending love times 10 because I haven't been on the channel in a couple of days. Um, I did have a busy, crazy, different weekend. Um, so, yeah, I'm just getting back on schedule, all right? Um, so, I just wanted to start out and let you guys know how much I love and appreciate you guys. Also, thanks for being super patient um, with personal readings. Um, I'm wrapping those up today and tomorrow. So, I know your readings will be a day or two late, all right? Um, just so you guys know, all right? And then remember, I had did that special with those phone readings and stuff um and remember i told you guys i had to like cut that off um but i just been like super busy and i've been clearing out my energy you know working getting the house clean getting stuff in order you know stuff like that but i'm here guys all right i love you so let's hop into this reading for today let it be great let's see what energy is coming in for you guys all right i also got new internet so um, I'm super excited about that too. Yay. Love it. So yeah, um, let's hop into this reading. Let it be great. Let's see what's coming in. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. All right. So you guys know when I upload, if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right. If you guys want to know about any specials, um, the e-club, you know, all that good shit, everything is in the description box below. All right, guys. So let's hop into this reading. I am going to start out with one of my, well, not one of my, um, I'm going to start out with the angels, gods, and goddesses oracle. So um, let's start out with a spirit message. I feel like we need it. Let's see where our energy is at. Let's see. Messages for, well, give us one message for today, Wednesday, June the 26th. All right, something flipped over. And we have goddess of compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. No, what is going on, guys? See, I've been gone for a couple days and all the energy has changed. Oh, no. Hell no. What's going on? Guys, what's going on? Y'all know I don't like that. Let's see. All right, so we have goddess of compassion, all right? And it says, the goddess of compassion has shown up in your reading today to ask you to be more compassionate towards yourself. At the core of every living thing, only love exists. Your personality, your personality and the role you play in, your, in this life is only, is only and ultimately an illusion. All that you perceive to be good or bad are necessary aspects of who you are. Positive and negative qualities exist in everyone and in everything. A more accurate description of positive and negative is yin and yang. For the reality, there is neither positive nor negative. Only opposite qualities which together make us whole. So it says if you pull this card, self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth and keeping you in, a, in the illusion that you need to improve in order to be worthy of success, happiness, and fulfillment. Have compassion, love, and accept all of who you are, as you are, and stop striving for something that is impossible to attain. Through love, your life magically transforms, all right? So, guys, like, what is going on, okay? So, a lot of you guys, I just feel like, are in the energy of, like, a lot of, and I'm not going to say a lot of you guys, it might be, you know, I haven't been on the channel in a few days, but this is definitely telling me that with this um, goddess of compassion, like, you guys are questioning yourself, like, you're questioning your self-worth, you're like, am I good enough, do I look good enough, do I have a lot to offer, you know, why do they not want me, you know, will they pick me, will we be together, do they love me, you know, like, you guys are going through that energy, and it freaking sucks, because I don't want you guys to feel like that, but I also know that with this, um, eclipse coming up on the 2nd of july and then we have one in capricorn on i think the 19th we have two eclipses coming okay and the one on the second is to shift and bring in 
better energy, positive energy. But it's also going to take out an energy that you've been holding on to for so long. So for a lot of you guys, remember in, what was that, August 2017, I will not ever forget that because it happened, I think, on the 11th or the 12th, and my birthday is on the 14th um, of August. We had that major eclipse. Remember, like, two years ago, we had all those eclipses. Okay, and it happened in like July and August. And something happened that hurt you, that crushed you around that time two years ago. And this eclipse coming up on July 2nd is going to release that energy finally. So a lot of you guys have been holding on to that energy, you've been holding on to that person. A lot of you guys have been feeling stuck. And you guys are going to release that energy. For some of you guys, I feel like you guys may not go back ever. For others of you, it's like it might shift in a new energy. I don't know. You know, um, we have to see how the energy plays out in the next week. Okay, but July is looking positive for some of the readings and like some of the stuff that I've been doing and working on or just looking into the energy. It looks a little bit more positive because we're coming out of something. We're going into something new. And then with that eclipse in Capricorn, it's all about, you know, thinking practical you know, making better decisions, balance, being organized, you know, like soulmate relationships, partnerships, you know, connections coming together, spiritual connections coming together, Capricorn, you know, so it's like a lot of things are shifting in. Some of you guys are just needing to let go of a situation that you thought was going to be forever and then there's something new or something better coming in. Now, for others of you, like I said, it's like this eclipse is going to eclipse their ass out. So there's not going to be no more of them, okay? And then we have this retrograde in between. So... If this is someone from your past and, you're, and you've been holding on, you guys both would have been doing the work. So through this eclipse, you guys are letting go of the past, not each other, the past. There's a difference. And moving forward, this person is going to come back during retrograde and you guys are going to test the relationship again. And some of you guys are going to move forward and you're going to shift into that energy with the eclipse. Um, I want to say it's like the, on the 17th or the 19th in Capricorn and you'll be moving forward. Others of you will be starting new relationships, going into new cycles. Okay, new relationships. Alrighty, so let's pull some romance angels and let's see what we got um, for you guys in love. And then we'll pull our spread. Um, but yes, honey, we got to fix that goddess of compassion, okay? Do not be judging yourself. You guys are fine. You guys are beautiful. You guys are handsome. You're dope. You're the shit. Like, you guys are the shit. Like, all of my subscribers, you know, I don't care if you're skinny, tall, fat, small, big foot, little foot, little nose, big nose, short nails, long nails. You know, I don't care. You know, I don't care, freckles, moles, whatever, you're the shit. Tell yourself that you're the shit. Never let no one make you feel like that. And I can't say that 100%, and I'm going to be honest, because there's times when people make me feel like that. But where I'm at right now, the energy I'm, at, I'm in right now, or just overall, I know who I am. I know where I stand. I know my worth. And no one can come between that ever again. And in the past, it was different. But now, mm-mm, no. And I had a personal reading yesterday, and I don't know if she's going to watch, but I was cracking up in my head because she said I'm at the point where I'm paying attention to the yellow, yellow, yellow flags, let alone the red flags. And that was, just, that was just letting me know, like, she either has been through some shit or she's just at a point where, like, you know what, if I see a yellow light, it's over. We're not even going to red. If I see you at yellow, it's a wrap. And it's not even saying that in a negative way. And it's not you guys being guarded. It's about setting boundaries, and that's how I took it. When I seen it in her summary, that's her setting boundaries, knowing her self worth, knowing who she is, male or female, for you guys, you know? So it's time for us to do that. And that's why this eclipse is here, because we let someone make us feel less than, okay? For a lot of you guys, um, either you're in relationships that you're not even ha happy in, you're just, you feel obligated. You're in the relationship out of guilt or obligated, or that's how a person is that you're dealing with or talking to is feeling, all right? So we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are really worth exploring. Don't settle and be with someone out of guilt or obligation. You can love someone and not be with them. That doesn't, just because you love someone doesn't mean you're meant to be. We have make the effort. We have keep an open mind. Love it. Um, let's see. And we have attraction. So this is telling me romantic feelings. Someone definitely has strong romantic feelings for you, right? You know, there's feelings there. There's love. They like you. They want to be with you. They think about you all the time. They think about when you guys are intimate, when you kiss, hug, whatever. Okay? There's romantic feelings there. All right? Um, 
and they want that. They feel that. They want to explore that with, with you. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like there's more than love. It's like this person is in love. You know, there, there might be like a point where either you or this person is like, damn, like I'm, I'm dangerously in love. Like I'm in love. You know, I don't know why I'm feeling like that. And we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So someone feels like this is worth it. You know, they want to they wanna put the effort in. They're ready to make that effort. You know, they're like, you know what? This is great. I, wanna, I want this. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to prove myself to you. I'm ready to give you my all. They know that they have to make some type of effort. Okay? We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you are different to this person. You're not the type of person that they're used to dating. Or this is not someone that you're used to dating. This is someone opposite. They might have came in your life with baggage or, you know, they might be already in a situation, a relationship, a commitment, a marriage. Um, they can be a different race. They can be shorter, taller, whatever. There's something that you need to keep an open mind about. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of this attraction card. Even though there's all these feelings, all this love, you know that there's a connection. We have to make the effort. They're trying to prove to you. Part of you is like, should I free myself now or should I stay? Because the attraction card says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And this is you telling yourself, like, I'm still open. So I just feel like whoever this reading is resonating with, or for whoever this is, for, like, you know, whoever this is resonating with, this is a situation where you're caught up emotionally in someone. Both of you guys are caught up emotionally into each other. And you want them to make the effort. They want to make the effort. And either both of you or one of you guys are keeping an open mind because you guys either both know or one of you guys know that there is a connection that you can't explain when it comes to this relationship or when it comes to the, it, or when it comes to whatever situation you guys are in. But we have attraction here. So attraction is telling me that as much as you want this, you don't want to hurt behind this because attraction is telling me that you, you know that you can get with someone else, you can be with someone else. But your feelings are invested in this situation, okay? Like you're, you're emotionally invested because there is romantic feelings there, okay? Um, yeah, that's what the overall energy is. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I feel like with this energy here, Either you need to release your ex or they need to release their ex. Someone needs to let go of someone in order for this to move forward. And I feel like if someone doesn't, then someone's going to step out. Meaning that, or release themselves. I know we don't have free yourself or whatever, but with that attraction card, someone's going to hurt, but they also know what they deserve or what they want. Or they also know that, you know, I feel like it's, it's like an energy like we're okay, like, How can I put it? This is you. You love this person. You're invested. You want to be with them. You want to make it work. But at the same time, you know that you can be with someone else. Or you know that it's it's not hard for you to get someone else. I'm just feeling that energy. So someone is wanting you guys to stay optimistic about this. You know, they want you to think positive and have faith. You know that this is going to work out for whoever this is resonating with. All right? Someone is feeling like that. And someone feels like... Um, or someone knows it's time to release an ex. Okay? Um, I feel like one of the exes is physically here. I mean, well, let me go back. Because that sounded kind of weird. Um, let me go back. Let me go back. So with the release your ex, either you're with this new person or you're with someone. And you have an ex in your life, but you guys aren't together. And I feel like you guys need to release that person. And then for some of you guys, either you or your person that you're talking to is with an ex or there's still an attachment to an ex. And that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for them to release that energy. Okay? So let's shuffle up. Let's hop into this reading. Let's see what messages we got. Let it be great. Let it not be on no bullshit. All right? So come through spirit. Spirit of universe messages for the collective for Wednesday, June the 26th. What is coming in for us? June 26th, love messages. All right. Let it be great, guys. Let it be great. 
Sorry, I know I'm not trying to be rude. What is the energy coming in for today? Wednesday, June 26th. The Empress Reverse. The Hermit Reverse. The Magician. I knew it. Someone wants to come out of a relationship with someone. The Empress Reverse. The Hermit Reverse. Someone wants something better. And with the Magician, that would be you guys' energy. Like, they look at you as a magician. Or they're trying to manifest something with you. They're trying to manifest their way out of a situation. Someone's trying to manifest their way out of a relationship. Okay? They are ready to be out of this situation. Alrighty? Um, we have this empress in reverse. So someone's been like nagging. Someone's been smothering. Or I just feel like whoever this is, it's like they don't see any growth in it. They're not attracted to that person anymore. They don't want to be with that person. Or there's just no more growth in that relationship. It's their, that per, that it, they just don't want to be with that person anymore. Okay, it could be a Libra, Taurus. We have Virgo energy, and then we have with the magician, Gemini or Virgo. Okay, um, that would be their person. This can be you guys, but someone is just not trying to manifest a relationship back together. Someone doesn't want that relationship. Someone wants to move forward. Someone is trying to manifest something with you, and they're wanting to let go of someone else. So it's either a relationship they're in or. There's an attachment that they have to someone and they're ready to release that energy, okay? Now, um, the hermit in reverse can be you guys kind of feeling um, rejected in this situation because I feel like if they're with someone, it's like with the hermit, you want this, they want this, but they haven't fully came out of this situation. And this is you kind of feeling rejected by this person. You know, you're like, okay, what is this going to lead to? You know, part of you is like kind of feeling lonely or, you know, feeling rejected because you feel like you're in the middle, because a magician would tell me that you're who they're trying to manifest, but they have this situation. The Hermit in Reverse also is telling me that this person is, is wanting something better. They were seeking something better. They were dissatisfied. They weren't happy in their relationship. Okay. Um, let's pull a few more cards. So, um, yep, see, we have Judgment in Reverse. So, I just kind of feel like the Judgment coming up in Reverse. Um, let's see. Let's look at the next card. The Fool. We have the Magician. We have the King of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Aries here with the Fool. Someone ready to offer their love to someone new. So with Judgment coming up in reverse under this Empress, that's telling me that your person... Um, Either, okay, I'm seeing this one or two ways. Either the the person that they're with now or we're with or whatever this situation is with the Empress in reverse and Judgment in reverse is telling me that there was something that the person did and they couldn't seem to forgive that person for it. You know, they were undecided. You know, they were just like, they didn't know what they wanted. So I feel like this person tried to make things right by this person. They tried to fix the relationship. Um... They wanted this person to let them back in. And I feel as if this empress became, in reverse, became uncaring, you know, and was suppressing her feelings or his feelings and was holding back how they felt. And there was resentment here with this hermit in reverse towards this relationship. And they couldn't seem to forgive that person. And it kind of opened up something new. And they could have met you, and now they met you, and now they're wanting to offer love to you, and you're the new person in their life. You're the person that they're in love with. The magician is here telling me that they want to manifest something with you, okay? Um, and they're, they're trying to manifest their way out of a relationship with this person because judgment is a reverse. This person wasn't giving them a chance. This person wasn't even thinking about giving them a chance, or it's just the attitude that this person was projecting towards them with judgment in reverse. So it, it's like... It's, it's something that's not coming together. And then I also feel like for some of you guys, this person that you're dealing with are you because this can be your situation or theirs. Someone just looks at it as if I go back, like, is it going to put me in another lesson? 
you know, like, should I call quits? Should I go back? Should I move forward? You know, I feel like the energy is undecided. But it was all based on this empress in reverse. And someone's not willing to wait anymore. Someone is just ready to move forward. Someone is just like, you know what? You didn't know what you wanted. You treated me a certain type of way. I'm moving forward. All right? So I just feel like um, crazy. It's a weird energy. So like I told you guys with this eclipse, a lot of shit is shifting and changing. All right? Um, yeah, let's pull three more cards. We have the six of wands. We have the four of wands reverse. We have the nine of swords. Yeah, see, this person is stressing out. Nine of swords. They're stressed out. This person that's trying to be with you is stressed out. Because with the four of wands in reverse, they're trying to leave an unhappy situation. This four of wands is like leaving a, a marriage, leaving a relationship. It's in reverse. It's an unhappy relationship situation. And that's why they're wanting to start something new with you. But then we have the six of wands. This person sees that they're moving forward and they're happy. Or they know that someone new is in their life. And I feel like this nine of swords is, um, it will be from their person. So it's like, I feel like this person is, is putting a lot of stress on them now because they see this person wanting to move forward with you or just wanting to be out of the relationship. Yep. See the queen of swords reverse. Yep. So it could have been a Libra for sure because we have the Empress reverse. And I feel like whoever this was, the Queen of Swords, she came up in reverse. And I feel like they were trying to work things out or they were doing whatever they could to make that person happy. That person didn't put her guard down or wasn't open to that idea. And as a Queen of Swords reverse, you know, the Queen of Swords reverse, she's not so great in reverse. And um, this person was just like kind of cold, kind of mean towards this person or this could have been you. Take how it resonates. Someone was unwilling to forgive someone, you know, or was holding a grudge or um, there was some resentment there. And now this person is moving forward and this person is even more upset. So someone's upset at, at an outcome. Someone's upset that this person is trying to manifest their way out of the relationship and wants to start something with you. And with this nine of swords, yep, see, we have the ace of pentacles and see they're stressed out because they want to make an offer to you. Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So this, they're just like, damn, I'm stressed out. How am I going to do this? How am I going to... They're just like, I got so much shit going on. Like, I want to be with you, but I got this situation. But I feel like this is coming to an ending. Okay? So let's definitely go ahead and clarify. Damn, y'all. So much shit has happened since I've been gone these last four or five days. All right? Too much has been going on. Way too much. Way, way, way too much. All right, so let's look at this energy. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, guys. So let's clarify this Empress in reverse. We definitely need to know why that's there. So let's see why is the Empress in reverse. Clarify the Empress in reverse. Why is this Empress in reverse? Yep, see so the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay. So, this person is ready to move forward, okay? This person is moving forward. This person is moving on from this person um, with the Five of Cups in reverse. Um, and like I said, it's whatever this was or whoever this is, and I'm not trying to say it like this in case this is you guys, so don't get upset. But someone learned a lesson here or someone was learning a lesson. Someone was very mean and very stubborn. Someone was unwilling to forgive. Someone in this relationship had a hard time healing or wanting to keep the relationship. And they um, literally, it's like whatever energy they were in, when it came to the situation, is letting me know that trying to find nice words to say it because for some of you guys if it was you or whoever someone was just being a real b-word okay but deep down inside they wanted the reconciliation they wanted the relationship they wanted to be with the person but they totally pushed this person away they had this person thinking that okay yeah we live together but i'm on the couch type stuff or we live together but we're not speaking 
are like, you don't want me to talk to you anymore. You're not answering my calls. We've been separated for eight, nine, ten months. You know, we only talk once a week. You don't even let me talk to the kids or whatever it might be. And in their mind, they're thinking that they're going to get back together or this is what you're thinking. If that's how you're treating the person, take how it resonates. But someone put themselves in a lesson or a situation. And I'm only saying that because it's Empress in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse with Judgment in reverse. Someone was definitely in their feelings. Someone was holding a grudge. Someone couldn't forgive. Someone was not understanding. Someone was pushing someone away. Someone was just very negative and mean and rude, okay, with this energy here. And it totally pushed that person away. And that's why they're trying to manifest new love with you. And I feel like there's love here still for this person, but they're ready to still, they're still ready. They still want to move forward with you is what I'm getting. All right. So the five of cups reverse, you know, um, like I said, is someone just moving forward, moving on, you know, they're, they're letting go. Um, and I feel like they're ready to let go of this person. They're moving on from this person. Why is this five of cups reverse? Going to the five of cups reverse. Yep. See the high priestess is coming up in reverse, you know, and I feel like, um, I told you guys what was that over the weekend. I told you don't have an emotional outburst. You know, so someone let their feelings get the best of them. Someone allowed their emotions and feelings to block, to block, you know, um, the relationship. They weren't paying attention to their behavior and how they were acting or responding in this relationship. So it kind of made the situation worse than better. And it also pushed the person away. And the person wants to be with you and wants to move forward with you. And now this person feels some type of way now. All right. So let's go into this Queen of Swords in reverse. Like I said, if it's you guys, I'm sorry, but you know I'm going to always keep it 100, okay? But someone definitely is over someone, you know, um, and they're wanting to manifest something with you, and they're trying to manifest their way out of that relationship. So let's go into this Queen of Swords reverse, all right? Let's see why this Queen of Swords reverse. Clear about this Queen of Swords reverse. Yep, look, double confirmation, Queen of Swords reverse. This person was just getting worse and worse, or like... I'm going to be honest, this person was a bitch. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this was, Queen of Swords twice with Judgment in Reverse. Okay? Like, this person was not letting it go. There, there must have been a situation or something happened, and someone was just refusing to let it go. They were getting meaner and meaner every time. Clear about the Queen of Swords in Reverse twice. Why is the Queen of Swords in Reverse twice? Yep, see? Five of Wands in Reverse. They refused to put an ending to conflict and drama. They refused to. Someone was trying to put an ending to things. Okay? And for a lot of you guys, this was a marriage or a long-term relationship. Four of Wands is here, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Someone wants to come out of an unhappy situation. So let's go into this Four of Wands in reverse down here. Why this Four of Wands in reverse? Because this is, they're wanting to leave. They're unhappy, okay? They don't want to be in this situation anymore. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse? See? The Queen of Wands in reverse. <laughs> so, yeah, they were definitely with someone. That was not so happy. Queen of Wands reverse, not so happy. And we have the Five of Swords and we have the Six of Pentacles. And that's how they want to end this relationship. Okay? Um, and this could have been a long-term relationship. But the Seven of Pentacles is telling me that you are the person that they want to invest in now. For some of you guys, um, you are the Queen of Wands reverse, but it's not... It's not it's not the Queen of Wands reverse where like, oh, she's the Queen of Wands reverse as far as her attitude and upset. It's telling me that you are, you could be the other woman that they're having sex with or in a relationship with. And they're in, a, they're in an unhappy relationship. And you're waiting for them to end this relationship so that you guys can be together. Seven of Pentacles, you've already invested a little bit of time or put time into this and you're ready to be with them. And you want to know what's going on now. Like, it's like, you're like, okay, when is this going to move forward? I'm tired of playing games. Seven of Pentacles, yep. See, you're you're waiting for them to get rid of the what? The Empress in reverse. The Empress in reverse. This is what you're waiting for, okay? Um, so, yeah, someone's waiting for a long-term relationship or a marriage to end. Um, this is going to be rare for some of you guys. This King of Cups wants to move forward with you. And they have, um, they will have two baby moms. So, like, they have, this will be the mother of their child here and the mother of their child here. This person is giving them a hard time and difficult but they're still in attachment. This person, they could have been invested in. They were on and off in between this relationship, but then they met you, and then you questioned them with this whole situation, and that's why the high priestess can be in reverse, and you've been very emotional about this because you're just like, you know what? 
you have this situation plus this, but you want to be with me. And you feel like there's a connection, but at the same time, with the fool, you know that you can move forward. And that could be the attraction card. You're going towards something better and wanting to come out of this. Okay? Um, now, for some of you guys, um, this is going to happen during retrograde. Like, some of this energy is like someone might be coming back doing retrograde. All right? So, let's see. We have this, um, the fool here. What is this fool about? Yep, see the strength card. Yeah, see, the fool and the strength card, you will be the person that they want, they want to move forward with. Okay, the strength card is there's, a, there's an attraction for one they're attracted to, but they see a better future with you. Like, they see things being better, stronger. You know, they see this as a better and solid foundation. Like, they see growth in this relationship. You know, they also view you as very strong, you know. Um, let me see, why is the strength card here? Because someone's attracted to your strength is what I'm getting. It's like, I don't know why I'm getting this, but it's like, there are, it's your confidence. And that's why when we have that goddess of compassion, I'm like, oh no, what's going on, you guys? Like, let's not feel less thin. Let's not feel like this. All right, why is the strength card here? Yep, see? Four of Pentacles reverse. Can't make this shit up. So the Four of Pentacles reverse is telling me that they're so confident about you guys that they're, they're ready to let go of this. The Four of Pentacles reverse is shedding the old. You know, it's like they're shedding the old or letting go of the past. They're finally releasing the ex. They're finally ending the marriage. They're finally letting go of something. You know, something that they've been holding on to. Something that they know has been over with, done. And they know the only way that they can start this new beginning with you is to do what? Let go of this person. So there is going to be an ending. This four of pinnacles reverse. They're finally shedding the old. They're finally releasing that person, that relationship, that connection. They're getting out of it. They're done with it. It's a wrap. Let's go into this king of cups here. And then we're going to be done. I'm going to pull an angel of ancestor or angel of ancestor oracle. All right, so let's see. Why is these? Uh, so why is these? Why is the King of Cups here? Going to the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Star. See, so it's telling me that this King of Cups, Nine of Cups in reverse. This is them emotionally dissatisfied. You know, not happy in the situation. In the upright, looking for love, wanting love. You know, and look what happened. The Star came. Okay, that would be you. You could be an Aquarius, maybe they are. And the star is like them getting what they want. They're like, damn, like they're like, this is my wish came true because someone has been manifesting this. Someone has been unhappy for a long time in a relationship or situation. And you are what they have always wanted. And that's why they're shedding the old, getting rid of the ex, getting rid of the past so that you guys can be together. And that's how the star is there. They also feel like this is destined and meant to be. You know, they feel like this relationship is destined. They, they're like, no, there's no way that you came into my life and we're not meant to be together. And that's why I feel like it's so hard for you guys. Okay? So, um, let's see. So, why is the magician here? Let it be great, guys. Let it be great. Sun card reverse. The four of wands. See, and that's, see, that's what I'm saying. The magician, I told you they're trying to manifest this. But with the sun card coming up in reverse... Um, this can be either you or them. Someone is unhappy or has doubts about this situation because someone is married or committed or lives with someone. But they are trying to manifest their way out of this situation with the magician, you know. And let's go into the four of wands really quick because they want to be with you. They know you're not happy. They know that, that you feel some type of way. Some of you guys um broke down to this person recently, you know, and told them how you felt. You know, with the sun card, maybe you were crying, you know, and let them know how you felt. You're like, "I really want you. I want to be with you, but I'm tired of this. Like, when are we going to be together? When are we going to be happy?" It could be something like that. Why is the four of wands here? Oh, that's what this is. Got it. Okay, I see what the ex wants to do, or the wife, or the whatever. So we have the seven of swords reverse. Okay, um, they found out about you, or they know of you, and now it's like they're trying to change. Now they want your person, is what I'm getting, because they found out about you now, and now the four of wands goes in the upright, because now they're 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 wanting to block this. Like, yep, see the lovers card in reverse. See. Now, because they see that this person wants a divorce or wants to detach or separate from them, wants a legal separation or something like that, it, this can be the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like they are telling this person that they're, they're taking action, 
you know, they're not backing down and they're like, look, I don't want to be with you. I'm ready to move forward. And it's like now they're like, why? And they're like, oh, I'm, I'm in love with someone else. I found someone else. I'm going to be with someone else. Blah, blah, blah. And now this person is being difficult towards them. So if this person has been distant or kind of nonchalant or haven't really, hasn't really been responding to you, that's why. See, the king of wands to the king of pentacles, ready to go into a new committed relationship. And this person wants to marry you and wants to be with you long term. They look at you as the person that they would marry. They actually want to marry you. They want to be with you. And they're waiting to come out of this sad bullshit, ten of cups reverse. And I'm not saying it like that, but they're in a situation. They're not happy. They don't see eye to eye. Like I said, they love that person, but they're not in love with that person anymore. See, four of swords reverse. They're ready to heal and let this go, you know, with this four of swords reverse. This is them also slowly recovering because they they might have children. They might have been together for a long time, but they're ready to build with you. King of Swords and the Three of Pentacles in the upright. They've already made their decision. You are the person they want to be with. But this person is a challenge. I will tell you that. All right. Or that will be a challenge. Or this person is going to become difficult now. Okay. Because they found out what was going on. All righty. So let's see what your angels and ancestors have to say. All right. Damn, they have a lot of messages for us. Like 30 cards fell on the ground. I'll be damned. Give me one sec, y'all. Give me one sec. All right, I'm back, guys. So, let's see. So, it's crazy because we had 11 cards come out. All right, so let's see. Let me pull a message really quick, and that will be our message. It's about to start thundering here in um, Texas. So, let's see. Message for Wednesday, June the 26th. Like I said, Personal readings are coming. Um, I know I'm a, a day to two days late. Um, I'm not going to lie. My phone, I have hella text messages. So if you're waiting for a confirmation text or email, they're coming. Um, if you're waiting for me to respond, they're coming. Um, I don't know. My phone, my screen went black on my phone. Connor had my phone the other day. So I just got my phone back. Like, what was it, yesterday from Apple? Or was it on, it was on Monday. Got my, no, yesterday. I got my phone back yesterday. So, um, and there's hella messages so just give me a sec guys all right so let's see what our message is we have elder move beyond ancest ancestral patterns when i say i cannot make this shit up guys i'm done because this is let me just read the message i i just i i love you spirit thanks for always coming through for me okay i love you i love you i love you i love you i got goosebumps when i seen that card like, I'm shaking and shit. See, I can't even keep the book open. Because I already know the message is going to be dope. I already know it's going to be real. Okay? We have Elder. And it says, move beyond the limitations that have been set for you by family members past and present. Know that the energy of your spirit is more powerful than genetics and behavioral patterns. Patterns. All right. The Elder is the ancestor who comes with a message of healing change. He is an embodied soul, yet he has had journeys that go beyond the physical. Therefore, he represents a oh reclam oh he oh sorry he represents his full power. When he appears, it's an acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you. If you have had expectations of success, failure, sadness, or even sickness placed upon you by your family, it's important to know. That you are here to create your own story. You are here to create your own fucking story. Period. Period. This card represents personal healing that would bring healing to your family, um, to your family tree, past, present, and future. Know that you get to decide what you take on. And also know that your ancestors are rooting for you and are sorry for any setbacks that have created that were created for you due to this pattern. Okay? So for a lot of you guys, you're, are your person stuck in tradition, stuck in a belief system? What were we talking about all last week? Family, friends, people being in your relationship. For someone, they're, they're holding on to a relationship out of obligation. Oh, we're supposedly married. We have to stay married. We have to have this relationship. We have to do this. My family said do this. My family said do this. My family said I can't date someone like this. My family said I can't be with someone in this situation. The, the problem is what do you want? What do you want? Let's listen to our elder, all right? Let's listen to our ancestor. Let's move beyond ancestral patterns. Let's let that shit go. Let's focus on what we want. Let's not, let's not stay stuck 
because we're comfortable with the familiar. Let's not, the, let's not let the familiar make us comfortable. All right? I love you guys. That's the message. It was deep. It was more than enough. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.